this is a word from our leader. So tomorrow we have a march. I just want to document this and take special note of the thumbnail. I'll just say this before. So I was having a wee look at room 8 coming full circle about room 8. And I was thinking about don't get caught in room 8 and the Lord was speaking to me. And I wrote this. So Remember I pointed out that, that the prisoner that jumped out of the box didn't turn around or think twice about leaving the man who was still in the box. He just jumped out and he said, see you later. See you later, mate. Forgetting about your brother is the box. That's the Lord's word. Forgetting about your brother is the box. Now I'm going to play this whole 11 minutes of the Tikahika. Trying to keep a rational, calm outcome for tomorrow. Negotiating and interacting with the police. Um, just listening to it speak for itself. But it is interesting that he said that Winston Peters threw us under the bus where that was really the word that the Lord has just given me about the Antichrist. But the Antichrist is going to throw everyone under the bus unless you're totally turned up and outside of the box. As in, you never went in the prison. You're out of the prison. Think of roommate. You're not even in that prison. No more. That's where you are if you're turned up. You're looking in. That's where I am. I'm looking in. Can you can you sense that in the spirit? I'm looking in. I'm seeing the box. Now, <clears throat> when you jump out of that box and you don't give a crap about your brother, that's what we did in heaven. Only a third of the angels fell. Did we give a crap about our brothers in heaven that we left behind? That they serve us now. They minister to us. Just like we've not given it a second thought. We're fallen angels and all we think about is ourselves. That is the box. And that's what's going to keep you in the box. Forgetting about your brother. Like the Lord said, that you will know all creation cries out for the revealing of the sons and daughters of God. You will know them by their love for one another. Jesus loved so loved the world that he uh, God so loved the world that he sent his only son. What would we have done if Jesus just tried to get out of the box? the trap, the flesh trap, if he just tried to get out of the box and he didn't care about his brothers, or if he never cared about us and came in the first place. He came to help us all out of the box. We all have one, one life, but this is our second chance. You're not aware of it, because your memory has been wiped. But this is your second chance. You already had an insurrection. And now you're here in an insurrection again. Every day you walk and breathe is insurrection against God. Unless you're turned up. And your and your love for your brother. So that is why the Lord is showing me so much about this. Because of because I'm called to New Zealand, but about this political party and why I know he's in it. Because they are our brothers. 
they are our brothers and the Lord has made it very very clear that we won't go home without them he said I won't go home without you and that's what I said and that's my call to the harvest he is calling the harvest workers he is rising up the workers for the harvest the Lord God has a plan he has a plan wait I'm not sure what will happen tomorrow I hope it's peaceful I do so I'm going to play this and uh, if you could pray for us here in New Zealand it is in God's hands but we know what's happened to protests in various countries so here we go Hello. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Kia ora everybody. I've Kia ora. Just checked, checked in. I'm just going to right, I'm just gonna so so forward through his, um, to show if it's working his gorgeous see if introduction. Some... He always says hello to everyone. Here we go. A few people coming up. Yep. Good afternoon. Kia ora everybody. Hey Desiree. There we go. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you too, Billy. Look all these thumbs coming up. Great to see everyone. Kia ora. Good afternoon. Hey brother. Well, where we had landed in, in Tamaki in Auckland and um, we just had a, um, a really good meeting with the police about tomorrow's rally um, and just want to say hi to Shana, kia ora Shana and uh, to all of you out there and just want to wish you all a, a, an awesome day today. Hey, hey Stussy, hey Lisa, hey Anne, all right, hey Tracy and hey Zach and who else we got there, Samantha, good to see you Samantha, Judy, kia ora Judy. Hey, kia ora Tania, kia ora Eric, hey, hope all is well over there. Hey Rob, good to see you bro. Katarina, good to see you. Sinet. Okay guys, I've got to get, get this message out there really loud and clear today. Right, so we've just had a, a really good meeting with the um, with the New Zealand police about our rally tomorrow. And I've got to say thanks very much to, uh, to George, who's our liaison officer. And he's a good guy, he really is. And he wants to see a very safe and successful event tomorrow. And... Um, and they're going to work with us and closely to make sure that everyone's safe and everyone's cool and everyone has a good whānau day. That's really number one because there's no point in us all coming together as a whānau to send a clear message to this government and uh, that we don't tolerate what they're doing to us, to our rights and freedoms um, and the general destruction of our Kiwi way of life. And we don't want to send that message and, the, and in the same process destroy what we stand for. Okay, so number one, we stand for community safety and caring for each other. So what we want tomorrow is just to, and what I want to remind you to do right now is that when you come tomorrow, and we've got bus loads of people coming from all over the country, guys. It's just amazing. I'm getting all the messages in the world from far over, from all over the country. We've had people fly in today from the South Island. Um, people are coming in to support each other, to support us, and to, 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 to share a really important message that we New Zealanders, we care for each other, regardless of race, regardless of all this other stuff. We care for each other and we want to defend our freedoms and our um, and our futures. That's really important. But I just want to make some things really, really clear to you guys out there as a family. And that's number one, is that this government will use any excuse they can to come down on myself, Jamie Lee, Advanced New Zealand and the Liberty March people if we don't um, do our very, very best to, to, to um, keep everybody safe. And what I mean by that, it's really simple. You come, uh, come in a group of 10, stay in your bubble. If you're on your own or a couple of you, just practice so social distancing two metres. It's really that simple. And, um, and if we can do that tomorrow, we're going to be just awesome, right? We're going to have a great day. And um, we've got some, um, uh, they've given us all of Queen Street to take over after the march. When we go to Maltea Square at 12 o'clock after our speeches, there, we're going to march down safely as a whānau to Takutai, down to Britomart. And, um, and it's going to be awesome. The police are doing everything they can to keep us all safe and to clear the roads, all that stuff. And they've, they've really gone, um, you know, gone beyond what I, you know, no pun intended, beyond the call of duty to, to really make this a really awesome event for us. And so what I really want to say to all of our whanau that's coming to tomorrow, everyone, is that let's do our best to show these guys down Wellington who want to close us down, who want to give us a hard time. 
And believe you me, we are people of interest in this thing. There's nothing clearer than that, that we need to ensure that we look after each other, look after this movement, and that we, um, we, just, we just play by the rules, we play by the game, and, um, and keeping ourselves safely, safely in our bubble, safely in, in social distancing, because what we do want to do, no, that's right, no, 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 that's right, no, it's not about being corrupted, and you need to open up your eyes about that. We are not tying the line on anything. What we don't want to do is find ourselves as organisers arrested after the event and imprisoned so we, can't, we cannot continue this fight. So we need to do this. It's part of our, our commitment to you guys that we're doing this, a commitment, to the, um, a commitment to the movement, and this is what we need to do. We need to be out there tomorrow sending a clear message to these guys that we are, we are going to defend our rights and freedoms. We are going to fight this fight and get into government and be present for the elections. That's what it's all about here. There's no point in being like the outdoors party, being like social credit, being like all these parties that become expert um, lobbyists outside of government. We need to be in government whānau so that we can change things and, and defend our futures. And it's so, so, yeah, hi Chris, mate, I'm going to ring you too, brother. Hope you're well, man. And, um, uh, you know, it's important that we as a team really send this message clear. I mean, ask yourself this. Do you really want to see me and um, um, Jamie Lee Ross and our team imprisoned because we had an event that went out of, out of out of hand. No, I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone wants to do that, Craig. No, you've got to understand, Craig, that we don't want to to see any one of us arrested and imprisoned. Right? Not for this. I'm willing to go to jail for my beliefs to defend us. I am, but we have to make sure that we, as a family, keep each other and safe. It's happened every week. It's been great with the Liberty Marches, but we are absolutely expecting um, thousands of people tomorrow. And what we are saying is we don't want any lockdowns. We want this government out. We want to change things immediately. And we need to do it the right way. That's all I'm saying. And it's my job to keep you guys safe, keep our team safe, and do the right thing. So don't be disappointed. This is about sending a clear government. We are sick of this control. Because believe you me, it's been made very, very clear this morning to me, today, that this government is watching us very, very closely. They'll be watching us closely tomorrow, and believe me, if they can, they will they will close Advanced New Zealand down, and we don't want that. And we don't want any more blinking, um, we don't want any um, any uh, reason for this government to do any more than what it's trying to do do to us. You know, put it, put, put it like this, in the last week, Advanced New Zealand has withstood the most unbelievable attacks we've ever experienced or expected, and, you know, it's just been awesome, just amazing to watch it, you know, the attacks that we're dealing with. And so what we want to do is um, is make sure that we beat these people. We've got to beat them. We've got to end the lockdowns and end the stupidity of this government who think that they are the single source of truth. How do we get our, how do we get our message out there? And that's by coming together to find it tomorrow and sending the message really clear because, you know, we... This government is beyond unbelievable. The stuff that I know that's happening, guys, you know, you know, you just cannot believe it. Craig, brother Craig, you know, I, I hear your heart and I know what you're saying. I'm as defiant about this government as you can believe I, I can be. We are all defiant about this government. We don't believe what they're doing is right. We are standing fully against it. So just make sure that we do this peacefully and powerfully tomorrow. Absolutely, and that's what it's, that's what it's about. You know what, and think of it like this, you know, in Melbourne right now, the police are trying to stop any protests happening, they're trying to, they're trying to bully people, they're trying to do all of that. I've just had a meeting with a good event liaison um, uh, manager for the police, and he was cool, he really was, he's been very, 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 very helpful, and they want to do it, they want to do it right tomorrow by us as well. There'll be no intervention by them, we just look after each other. Kia ora kalifa, malo. And uh, we want to do we want to do the right thing, Craig. So hopefully, bro, you can come shake my hand tomorrow, and let's let's bloom and um, let's hang out together tomorrow because that's what it takes. This is our chance to show the world, like Berlin has, like Dublin has, like um, uh, Brisbane has. You know, people are out there, man. I was watching the the Brisbane event the other day, and it was just awesome. You had big, big groups of people all around over the park, and everyone was was person had a mask on it was awesome it was fantastic and so that's what we're going to 
that's what we're looking to do tomorrow and do it, do it well and show them that we are sensible, logical, and we know what we're doing. So guys, I just want to, um, you know, I just really want to say um, thanks to you all. We've got a big one tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you all 12 o'clock at the Altair Square. Um, we've got a big PA system so we can talk through and we can work together and um, have an awesome successful event and it won't be the last one. If we need to have another one before the elections, we will. And, um, you know, we just need to pull together and get through this event and send our message loud and clear. Whanau, we're not going to tolerate this government anymore. They are gone. They are gone. And we're not going to allow National to come in with a Greens coalition or anything like that anymore. NZ first, goodbye, gone. They threw us under the bus last year, you know, at the last election. They're not going to be have a chance to do it after the next one. So let's do this together. Let's all be together tomorrow. Let's look after each other. Let's let's just do it, man. Let's do it. I'm so looking forward to seeing you. I'm really, really excited, guys. This is the biggest thing I've ever done in my life, next to marrying my beautiful wife and having my children and my whanau and uh, working for the Lord. This is the biggest thing that I've ever been involved in. So make sure that um, you come tomorrow, come with aroha in your heart, and let's do this together. Advance New Zealand, always your voice. Yes, we're saying things that the government don't want to tolerate. Why? Because they're the single truth. Uh, source of truth. They want to nail us, Fano. They want to nail us. We're your power because this is a people's movement. We're your party because you wanted it, and a vehicle to defend our futures and our freedoms, and we're it. So bless you all, guys. All my best. Um, and if we hear anything else tonight, I'll do another post, or Jamie Lee might. Um, but I'll see you tomorrow, 12 o'clock, Altair Square. We're going to have some important, powerful speeches all done with Manaki and Aroha for each other, and then we're going to march down together as one whānau, down to uh, Pritamant, and we're going to have more speeches, and we're going to be together as a family. Take care all. God bless. Kia ora, and uh, man, look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Travel safely here too, by the way. Take care. Kia ora.